So I grew up between London and Herefordshire. And obviously London was, you know, doing very London things. That's really where I kind of learnt about restaurants and entertainments that London provides. We were so much more so free in Herefordshire. It's a very rural part of England. Food was very inspiring there. We grew a lot of stuff in the garden, but also, you know, the meat we ate was grazing in the fields. You got that sort of sense of immediate connection. My mother used to send me with this little lunch box that usually had things like sort of fresh crab in it. I'd always be a bit embarrassed because the other kids would have their little sort of sandwiches and crisps. When I was at sit form, I remember finding a, a copy of the Blue River Cafe cookbook and making this squash risotto with some crisp sage leaves, which I thought at the time was incredibly sophisticated. It was then that I thought that this is something that I wanted to do more than anything else. So that's what I pursued. I went off and did a um, year's course at Leeds. And it really sort of set me up and it gave me the confidence to uh, apply for a job at Morrow and it sort of went on from there. Any way we could do later on the Thursday? I really like to get most of my work done in the morning. If I'm not testing the recipes, then I'll be writing and I'll try and stop and obviously have a nice lunch and things. My mother was a brilliant cook, so I just sort of associate good food with my mother kind of looking after me when I was recovering from this terrible car accident and I had a very badly broken jaw and I couldn't chew or eat anything solid for months. So for every meal she made me a different kind of souffle. One of the most significant results was I lost my memory almost completely for about a year. It completely altered my experience of eating. It was like the world was sort of revealed anew. When I'm in Devon, what I find really inspiring is, you know, going out and picking vegetables that I might have grown. The thing that I love about foraging as well is that nature gives you different things at different times of year and it really kind of roots you to a place. There's a wonderful old oak wood I discovered recently which is covered in wood purslane which I picked for a salad. There's bountiful elderflower and I found a pink elderflower bush in the garden. You don't want to cook food that's too fussy when you're in the country. So I really enjoy that and I enjoy, you know, the working within the confines of the aga, <laughs> which can be frustrating. <laughs> Since we've had the bees, I've become much more aware of the flowers that we've got in our garden and I'm always thinking of new things to put in. Using things like honey and stuff that I've foraged from the garden, yeah, it's, I think it's one of the most fulfilling and joy-giving things that you can do in cooking.